Hello, and welcome back to the Home Renovation Experts. Firstly, can I just say thank you to everyone who's messaged saying, where are you? What's going on? We're sending out search parties. You guys are all awesome. And I do apologize for not getting back to you. The short answer is that I've had COVID. Um, so I've been completely out of it for the past, what was that? I can't remember, I can bloody remember now, 10 days, whatever. Lost like eight pounds in weight. Um, it's been horrible. So me and the missus got it. We've got like a two and a half year old. Luckily he didn't get it, but trying to look after him why are you feeling rough and I just couldn't focus I couldn't do anything so even like getting back to people's comments it's like I really want to but I just haven't got the capacity in a second it sounds like a feeble excuse but trust me it isn't Covid is a miserable bastard um, so yeah so that is why I'm now back at it so just kind of getting back into the swing of it again now so I am now here again on this uh, 5x3 uh, rhombus room uh, what I've been doing is because I'm so out of touch and my head is just like, wee, look at the pretty colours. I've just kind of been cracking on. But what I have been doing is thus. So there you go. So there you go. Nice bit of piece shingle. So the weed membrane has just been put down. That's been done. You can see at the back there, we now have the water butt in place. So we've put it on a slab, <clears throat> all levelled up beautifully. Tap at this end, nice and easy to get to. I'll take you around the other side because I just fit the down pipe as well. So what I'm going to do is, on the tap connector at that end, I'm going to run a piece of the client's old bit hose. We're going to run that down the side of the building and to leave it kind of coiled up, obviously on that side, <coughs> we have a little like um, tap connector on it. So what the client can then do is like draw a water off at the front of the building as opposed to going down to the back of the building to try and get access to the water butt. Um, so that'll make life a little bit easier. And I won't go all the way down there, but if you go, if you can see just further down there, look, there you go. There is now a downpipe in, done and dusted, all connected up to so the water butts now live, and that can start collecting some lovely jubbly rainwater. Uh, the next stage of cracking on is, I have no idea. I don't know, can't remember. Um, it's been so out of the loop for such a long time. Um, so what I think is the plan basically is, I'll get this now a bit cleared out, like a bit more space in here, you can see like, most of the first fix and second fix electrics is now in. So there's a few bits of like <coughs> touching up and that where Sparky's been done his bits and pieces. So I'm gonna get all that like filled and touched up and then yeah, get all this all out, get it all like reset a bit, hoover it out and so that the client can then hopefully come in and just start to sit in there a little bit and just kind of chill, um, which is my plan. It's a good plan. So if this video today is a bit like higgity piggity, don't just, just go with it. It's all good. I'm here. I'm doing my best. So yeah, happy days. So right, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea and then crack on and start sort of sorting out this bit of some room in here then. Lovely stuff. Right, quick little update on where I've got to so far. So what I have done is obviously I've done the water bath side, which is very nice. I've gone around and find service field just in here. So Aussie it was, very nice. Uh, these have now had, so what I've done is I've touched up the filler, so given that one black everywhere, obviously different colours, so you can see now that's where the filler was, so that's had like one coat. I then cut the whole thing afterwards and then rolled it as well, so that way you won't end up putting like a dead patch as you look down the wall, because um, what some people do is they'll fill it and then just get the whole thing in one, one coat, but what will happen is that those areas that have got filler on, the paint gets drawn into it and you end up with a very sort of dull sort of little bit across it if you look down it. So what you do first, by giving it a black on all the filler, that's now drawing into the filler, which now means once I give it this coat and give it a finish, it's already got its first coat and the second coat will go on and just finish it off beautifully. So that is a little top tip. Yeah, you know, it's all about the little top tips today, and that is it. Um, so yeah, so that is now touched up. So I'm now gonna cut it, which I already have, and I'm gonna roll it, done. And that'll be the inside of here, basically done and dusted. Then it'll be clearing up the floor, getting the tools back on the van. <coughs> and then really, it's just waiting for the doors and windows, which should hopefully possibly be this week. With any luck, I might get like a, an email saying they're in. Uh, or it could be early next week. You just have to suck it and see, see what goes on. But it'd be awesome if it is the end of this week because it means I can drop back and get my bespoke windows and door whipped out and get the proper ones in. I mean, these are nice, don't get me wrong, they're very, very nice, but you know, it's a bit dark. 
if I'm being honest. Quite techno, you know, close the door, you can have a good old techno disco in it. But apart from that, a bit of light goes a long way. So hopefully we'll hear from him later in the week. But until then, I'll start getting this bit done and tidying up.